It's time to catch a cheater. Only on the Jubal Show. Spencer is on the phone today for To Catch a Cheater. He's been married to his wife, Lauren, for three years, but now he thinks something might be going on. So mm-hmm. we'll see if we can help him out. Spencer, sorry you have to come on the show this way, but what's going on, man? Um, Yeah, me too, because I'm, I'm a really big fan. I listen to your show all the time, man. Um, what The problem I'm having right now, I kind of recognize from listening to your show so often, the red flags and such. So I've noticed a few of those recently, and it's really thrown me for a loop, and I'm hoping maybe you guys can help me figure this out. We've always been really close, my wife and I. Like you said, we've been together for three years. Mm-hmm. Red flag number one, I guess, wasn't really a red flag until the second one came, and that is that our intimacy has really just kind of fallen off. We've always had a really healthy physical relationship, but lately it's just kind of been non-existent. And I know sometimes people go through phases, and that's what I thought it was. Yeah. Until red flag number two. She has been staying up, like, texting at night on her phone with someone who she says is her friend, um, which, you know, might be the case. But it's weird because, like, when she gets a text message, she responds with one or two words, puts the phone down. She doesn't like to text. But now she's, like, on the couch at night sitting next to me, not paying attention to anything that happened in the room, looking at her phone, texting long conversations and smiling about it. It just it feels weird. Yeah. It's thrown, it's making me a little crazy. I got to be honest. But she says that she's talking to her friend, um, Caitlin. Okay. Okay. So that was red flag number two. There are two more. Okay. <laughs> number three, my wife doesn't really like to go out very often. She's not into like the clubs and that scene. But last week, she went out with the girlfriends, she says, which, you know, I wouldn't have any problem with if she wanted to do. It's just really strange because she doesn't do that sort of thing. She went out all night and like went drinking and stuff, which is great. But when I asked her what she did or where she was going, it was just going out. We went out and that was like the end of it, Mm. Um, which is super weird. And then red light flag number four is what made me have to call you guys. Um, When she came home from that night out, she smelled like a man's cologne. It wasn't mine. When I asked her about it, she said that, one of her friends she was out with met a guy and he sat next to her at a, at a bar. Uh, yeah. I, I'm not buying that. Yeah, no, usually don't get, you don't get smelling like their cologne usually for them sitting next to you. I mean, unless he's one of those yeah. super obnoxious yeah. sprayers, then there is a good chance you leave smelling like it. But I think the texting yeah. and giggling while sitting on the couch with you is kind of standing out the most to me because that would just, but isn't that also kind of negligent? That's if you're so cheating, rude. that's so I think some people just uh, open. Yeah, I th- I think someone was right next to me. I feel like some people just assume like, oh, they'll never guess if I do it right here. You know, get caught in plain sight sort of thing. Yeah, oh, that makes maybe. Sense. Yeah. Did you happen to ask her what was going on with her friend, Caitlin? Like, is she in some type of situation, a breakup, drama? Uh, actually, I yeah, I did. I, she said that she needed moral support, and which I didn't get any more information than that. She didn't seem very forthcoming. Um, mm. And, you know, maybe that's the case. I, I guess. That's why I'm calling you guys, because I want to believe my wife. I, yeah. I, but I've got this feeling in the pit of my stomach, and I, I don't know what to do about it. Well, you, so you said that you have a different way to try to catch her than the flower thing that we do normally, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, she knows that I have really had my eye on some gym equipment, because, uh, you know, it's a new year and all that stuff. And uh, I think it'd be a really great idea if maybe... Because at her job, she has like bonuses and her next bonus is coming up very soon. And they usually give away these big Amazon gift packages, mm-hmm. like a, cool. like a $500 yeah. gift card kind of thing. Okay. Um, I was thinking maybe we could call her up and say, yay, she's getting a gift card. Um, who do you want to send it to? We could do a double gift card. She gets one. And then also this year we're giving it to some where you can send it to <laughs> somebody special. Oh yeah, oh. that'd be great. Okay. You might right. keep it if it's just one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want her to just be like, no, I'll take it. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that then. We'll, we'll play a song, come back, call her, and then see if we can catch her cheating. And hopefully she's not, but we'll see if we can catch her if she is. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Play a song, come back, get your To Catch a Cheater next. If you're just joining us for today's To Catch a Cheater, Spencer is on the phone and Spencer thinks that his wife, Lauren, of three years might be cheating on him, so we're about to call her and see if we can catch her. But before we do that, Spencer, why don't you catch everybody up on your situation? Yeah, I guess real short, um, I've noticed some really weird behavior lately. She is uh, like texting and doing like weird giggles and stuff while she's texting, but she's not a texter, so that's strange. She's going out on 
like girls' nights and drinking and stuff, and that's really outside of her character. And then one night she came home smelling like some other guy's cologne, which kind of like it made me lose it a little bit, and I had to call you guys. <laughs> Understandably, yeah. help me get to the bottom. Definitely. So you know, I thought it might be a good idea if you guys called her and maybe said that uh, you were her job, giving her her bonus, and this year it's two five hundred dollar Amazon gift cards kind of thing. So we should give them to. Yeah, we'll see if she sends one to you or to somebody else. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks. Here we go, man. Hello? Hey, is this Lauren? Yeah, it is. Hey, Lauren, this is Pete up here in HR. How you doing? Oh, good. I'm good. How are you? Great. Really good day to be in HR because all I'm doing is uh, calling up people and saying um, we got the yearly Amazon gift card bonuses in and they're 500 bucks this year. Woo! <laughs> Congrats, yeah. yeah. It's a nice day for an HR person when you don't have to call people and be like, hey, you're fired. <laughs> you know, that right, kind of stuff. Right, exactly. Nice, sweet. That's awesome. I'm excited. Yeah, and this year it's actually cool because what they've done is uh, we're doing $500 Amazon gift card for you and then also another $500 gift card from Amazon that you can send to somebody special to you. That's awesome. That's so nice of you guys. We will obviously get you yours, and then do you, you want to send your other gift card to somebody? Um, yeah. Great. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, do you know who, or do you want me to, you know, you want to send me an email or I call you back or something? Um, no, I, I can, you just type it in now, like if you have it up. Yeah, I can just take the down the info now, and I'll send, I'll send you all the stuff to let you know that you send it out. It will be oh, a, still like a week or so. Okay. okay. Okay, cool. Um, well then, who would you like to send it to? Uh, I'm going to send it to Gavin. All right. And yeah, last name on that, Gavin. Uh, gotcha. I, I can't say quiet. Who, who, who the f is Gavin? Yeah. Who, who is Gavin? <laughs> Lauren, this is actually the Jubal show. That's your husband, Spencer, on the phone. What is happening? Can we do oh, a segment This isn't funny. You, do, you know? I know. Wait, no, what? I absolutely know. I, I, I planned this. Whether you guys know it or not, I set this whole thing up and this pan oh, What are you stuff. talking about? Who is Gavin? Uh, I'm not going to tell you who Gavin is. Uh, what? <laughs> are you, are you serious? Who? Yeah. Yeah. Who are you? What is this? <laughs> I don't get it. Okay. I don't get it either. Is this funny to you? I don't, I, is our, like, you're my wife. Well, I don't understand what is happening. Why do you think this is funny? You're f***ing around with some guy named Gavin and you're laughing in my face about it. No, no, I'm not f***ing around with any guy. Except for you. <laughs> In this <Wait>. moment. <laughs> well, who is Gavin? Did you have some cocktails this morning? <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> what is going on? What? Gavin is the name of your child. Your soon-to-be-born child. <laughs> what? Yeah. Whoa. That's yeah. right. What? That's right. Uh-huh. We both listen to the show. I know that Spencer loves it. Um, he also loves this specific segment. We talk, he talks about it all the time. Um. So I kind of set this up and, and planned it so that he would think I was cheating. What? Uh, I put all the pieces in a play and it fell. It literally fell exactly like I wanted it to. I, um, <laughs> I mean, oh my I God. Freaking out. some guy bought cheap gas station cologne. He fell for it. What? 100% fell for it. Yep. Are you kidding? <laughs> what an evil genius. <laughs> for real. <laughs> I wanted to prank you. Oh I don't my want to tell you right away. <laughs> But yes, I'm pregnant, and this is what I wanted to tell you. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. That's very <laughs> safe. amazing. So my, you, you see, right? She's an evil super genius. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, congratulations. That's amazing. So did you really name this is amazing. The baby Gavin without talking to him? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was something we talked about before. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You knew exactly what I was talking about when I said Gavin. Well, I, when, he, when he got it in context. <laughs> My head was so clouded. I didn't even think about that. Oh, my God. This yeah. has made my day. I cannot wait to see you. I love you so much, baby. I love you, too. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you did lie to us, but I'm not that mad about it. I feel pranked. <laughs> cool. yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he didn't know. I think payback's fair, too. But that's cool. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. The Jubal Show's To Catch a Cheater.